Street skiing is in a completely different realm because not only do you need to be able to do the stuff you think of, you need to be able to think of the stuff that you're going to think of to do what you think you can do. Oh, <laughs> nice. I'm not fully convinced, but I think it's just four. Yeah, here we go. I think you just pronounce it four. If you're unfamiliar with this crew, it's, it's a group of guys who love skiing and are pretty darn good at it. This is their newest project called Formula. It takes place in Finland. We're about to see some skiing. <laughs> Yo, what is Man, he's so high up. Bashing his ACLs back to back to back, popping the nice little 180 out there. Gaps are flat on that triple down. Check that out. Huge gap there. Oh! Yo. Pop switch tails up. You call it switch tails because he's going off the jump backwards or off the lip backwards and his tails of a ski are the first thing to go over the rail. So we call it switch tails on. He's going to hit a front swap and then get a misty 450 out. Wasn't even that high of a jib feature too. So to see him get the invert out is sick, man. Oh, popping the nose tap there too on the 360 out. Hitting the wall ride, gapping down into the landing, making it look effortless. So big. Oh man, massive 540 trailing blunt on such a sketchy spot man you can see how slippery that surface is his knees have already buckled before he pops off but still manages to execute it without question imagine strolling up to get your nana's christmas gift and you see this thing and you think to yourself yeah let's ski it no sane human being would say let's put on a pair of twigs and get to work that's so tight Wow. Pops on the first down flat down. You can call it a DFD to short form it. But then what he's going to do is pop a front swap over to the other DFD. And we call it a front swap because he's turning to the front of him. His head is turning to the front. If it was the opposite way, we'd call it a back swap. That was so difficult to do, especially on a steep rail like that. Mm. No. No. Oh, man. This brings back some Tom Wallace vibes. No way. No way! It might look like he's just sliding on a slippery surface, but this ain't no regular slippery surface, dude. Look how he has to lean back into the rail there so we can hit that C section before proceeding to get the next down. Really weird stuff going on with the B roll, but you know, we love to see it. Oh, back swap, front swap. Pops it out forward, easy. It's like a warm up for him. No Back swap, front swap. No oh! <laughs> On skiing, you can have swaps, but you can also have surface swaps. So here you're gonna see him do a back swap to a front swap. And we call it a swap because he's actually jumping off the rail, or I guess in this case, a piece of tree, to do that 180, to do the swap. But at the end here, he does a backside surface swap. And you can see we call it a surface swap because he doesn't leave that tree untouched. He keeps his skis in contact with that rail, that piece of tree, 100% of the time, which is so tough to do. You got to be really on point, really balanced to get that to work, especially since he popped it to switch. <laughs> what happened there? Who kicks a slide in like that? Uh, see, that doesn't bother him. He's still going to give it a rip regardless. Now, Kelly Clarkson once said, I will love you, and I will love you for all your imperfections. It's not about being perfect, boys. It's about being perfectly okay with your imperfections. Oh, that's a dope spot. 180 up, switch 360 out. Look at this C rail. Oh. oh! Holds it throughout the entirety of that Egyptian pyramid. Huge nose bud. So hard to do on a slippery surface. He keeps his skis together the entire time, and the flex is so heavy. That is incredibly tough to do. Oh, I saw this on Insta. This is so sandy. Sets a flat three, but then he's going to tail tap this, this tetanus bar here and then carry out a late 180 to kind of turn it into a rodeo 540. 
That is such a sketchy thing to do. Sitting there terrified in your little chair of yours, aren't you? I said, dude, I'm feeling the same way, man. These boys, they're going too hard. He managed to get a little bit of a ski slide on this handrail sticking out here, which is terrifying. So easy to catch your tips in it, but still has enough. Enough momentum to carry the underfoot 540. Weddle there. Front swap, Pratt 6. Popping in switch. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was so big. Oh, you can't fully appreciate it on camera. If you were to see this in person, like... I don't know, what is that? Two stories, nearly two stories. He's gapping up straight to a flat landing here as well. They had a little bit of a chunder pillow there to catch him on his way down, but that's huge. Are they even gonna show a different angle so you can see that that's literally a fence? Yeah, that's not a solid surface. Yet he manages to get this cork 630 out. With the lead safety in the mix as well. That was sick. Whether it's Big Sands or Tech Jib hits, they can do it all. Check this out. That's a back swap to a continuing 630 out. You can think of a 630 as doing a 540 out of rail, one and a half rotations with an extra 90 degrees to make sure you land straight. 270 up, 270 out, but look how he pops that 270 out. He's going to pull his noses back on this 270 out to steeze it out. Again, it's the subtleties that make the clip. Big lip slide on. It's a massive down bar. And if he fell off early, again, imagine falling off. You only see him make it. But by the time you reach the end here, you're probably going like 30K an hour and smashing into a gate fence. Ain't nice for anybody at that speed. You give me oh, yo! Back swap up on the battleship to a continuing front swap backslide out. That is so tactical. Yeah, skiing. These spots are so, like, who lived in there? That little hobbit hole all tatted up like that. Oh, that is so sketchy. Mm. Oh. Making sure both sides of the bun are lubed up with WD-40. That's so difficult to do. I don't understand how you have control of your skis when you're in a nose press, when you're in a nose butter or a tail butter. It's crazy. Taking a strum on Van Halen's guitar right there. Sick to see it. These rails, I swear to God, they're gonna snap in half at any second. That's a whole other thing you gotta keep in mind with the urban scene is that these jib features aren't prime and prepped by a park crew. This thing has seen its last and dying breath. It's literally, dude, look, look at that. And he still slides it like it's no problem anyways. That is so ghetto. It's one thing to go 90 on a wall ride, but to hit not just your noses, but press them into that surface, crazy. You can literally see the ski snap back and get the 90 out to pull it to switch. Wow. And that's what I'm saying when you see these boys, they usually only show the make. But with big features like this can come big consequences. You don't know the speed you need for this. So when you guinea pig it, you could blast off into the stratosphere here. And you never see your mom and pop again because you'd, you'd be dead. You'd, you'd die. But Harold doesn't care, man. He's having the time of his life. Not straight, not so straight. Stalling up there, pop the 180 swap. Continue it down to forward. Hole in one for the honeys. Spots the landing before even coming off the takeoff. Such a dirty flat three. Pops a front swap, then a front 270 swap to the wall right. That is harder than a piece of mahogany on a Tuesday afternoon. Not even Tinder Gold can give you that level of calm. 
confident. Sets a half backflip, stops his rotation because there's literally that something there stopping his rotation. And then still continues the backflip out. Upside down wall, I've, I've literally never seen that. I, I think LJ did something similar recently. Two seventy to wall ride, and these are so scary because he has to come off, do a two seventy degree rotation, but he also needs to angle his skis and go a little bit off axis so he can then redirect his energy, his kinetic energy, down this mountain of a building. And you got to do it perfectly; otherwise, it's not going to end well for you or for me. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see you get hospitalized, big bro. <laughs> Take him out of the picture for a second. Can you imagine coming up to the spot without the jump made there and then seeing the possibility to gap out of this to flat? Street skiing is in a completely different realm because not only do you need to be able to do the stuff you think of, you need to be able to think of the stuff that you're going to think of to do what you think you can do. If somebody came up with that idea, I wouldn't be like, yeah, bro, let's send it. I'd be like, dude, can I admit you to a psych ward? Because that's just fucking crazy. Check these guys out. I'm going to link their Instagram in the description plus their YouTube channel so you can watch formula here without any of my nonsense in the background.